So, I don't know, did I update? Did I tell anybody? Okay, so the lump here, it's benign. Yay. Um, <laughs> um, so the lump is benign. That's exciting. Um, means that, you know, yay, one less stress because I've been worried about it. Not going to lie. I tried not to be worried, but I was. Um, so anyways, I'm on my way for a CT scan because they still want to image it and make sure um, that there's nothing going on. It's not touching anything um, so that they can go ahead and take it out. So yay, here we go for a CT scan. I haven't been for one of these in a long time. That was bizarre. So as you get an IV, they put like this weird dye stuff in you and um, it feels weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, you can feel like the heat of it going through your body. It's very strange. Um, but yeah, I mean, at least the lump is benign. That's all that matters. But yeah, that was the weirdest thing. I've had a CT scan before, but they didn't do the dye this time they did. This is all the stuff that was at the back of my freezer. Look at the amount of ice that was collected. Hey, hey, just a second. Okay, so some of this stuff is like so iced over. Um, it's crazy. So I actually, huh, very carefully, because I really thought I was going to break my freezer. Hold on. I did it as careful as I could. I thought I was going to break this. Um, let's get the tripod. Um, really, this is not taking me very long. I've been putting it off all week. I literally had to just rip everything out of the freezer. I'm stepping on Legos. And um, I pulled this off. I did crack it. Right here, I did crack this. I don't know, can you see them? Can you see me? Play a little closer. I think there's chicken juice in there. Um, okay, so I did, so I just pulled this off. And this was like the back of my freezer because I can't get this shelf out. I tried. Like it's wobbly and loose, yeah, but I can't get it out. So anyways, this thing, this piece goes on the bottom back here and it was stuck against it and I honestly thought it didn't come off. Um, so I was like chipping away in there to get, look at, there's still ice in there, can you see that? So I was chipping away at it to get this off. And then I poured some water in, and as soon as I poured a little bit of water, hot water into it, it just pulled right off from the wall. So I believe this is a result from not having proper sealing in my fridge door, which I'm also gonna take care of, hopefully today. So this stuff, like this ice is just, it's on here, it's on here, good. Hello everybody, and thank you for joining me for day two of Vlogmas. Apparently I deleted my intro, so. I'll just say hi to you here. Um, not sure what every day is going to look like. I mean, it's vlogmas, so I guess vlogging, right? I've never vlogged before, so I have no idea. But I thought I'll show you little bits of our day. Not every day is going to be completely Christmas related, um, but there'll be crafts and all kinds of stuff coming up. But for today, I just thought I would take you on a little bit of my day. Um, what we did, what had to get done, a little bit of cooking, baking, I think. Am I sharing cooking and baking? I don't know what I'm sharing. Whatever you see, enjoy it. If you don't like it, move on and come back tomorrow. I'm sure you'll like tomorrow's video. It is a collab. It is a cooking Christmas recipe collab. And I have two very yummy recipes, um, both of which were somewhat inspired by what I found in my freezer um, and just things that I need to use up around the house. So please be sure to join me tomorrow for the Christmas recipes collab. Um, for my day three of Vlogmas. It sounds so weird saying it, Vlogmas. I don't know why it sounds weird, but this was kind of annoying, but once I just shut the freezer, it stuck. And now my fridge and my freezer are both working properly. I am super excited. Hey peeps, what's up? What's happening? Where can I, where can I take you so you can see what's happening? Can you see us here? Hey guys. Hi. So, this is, I think I said it already. I have no idea. I just prepared stuff. No, 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 it hurts. Vlogmas day two. Okay. Um, but it's like day one. But it's, today is just like the first time I'm recording this. But you're going to get some videos like, hey, is that milk? You're going to get videos all over the place. But like, 
not all over the place. Like I have some crafts that we've already done, but I'm gonna throw them up for Vlogmas. Oh, this is my favorite. I wish you could smell this. This is my favorite. This is the one I chose today. Mm. It smells really good. This is the one I was using. Okay, I'm just gonna switch up here for a second. Excuse the mess. Oh, but I have to share. Okay, I was just gonna. Um, yeah, it, you know, it, it's always a mess in here. It's like eight o'clock, eight thirty. I haven't cleaned up from dinner. There's snacks on the counter. There's fruit. There's we are baking, we're cooking. I made these cookies, okay? I made these ones last night, okay? Last night I made these guys. I put them in here overnight. I forgot to cover them up. I forgot to put a lid on them. They are so stinking soft still. Oh my goodness. Like, oh man, if you could taste this cookie. I'm sorry, but be jealous. They're so stinking good, okay? Um, I don't know what, I'm, I did two things different with this recipe. I was experimenting with my cookies, and one was I added sourdough discard. So these are sourdough discard chocolate chip cookies. Um, yeah, phenomenal. And I also added jello, or no, vanilla pudding mix into the cookies. So I mean, I don't know, take your pick. You decide what I did right and why it's so much better. Oh, I got stuck. Dang it. Almost time for a new jar, I think. Oh, in my side. Thank you, sir. Okay, up again. I was in here. I was in here making a tea and I had a moment, so I thought, hey, I'll be my starter. And now my buddy found me. Um, okay, so I've got a measuring cup here. I'm just adding my discard in here. Um, Am I supposed to mix discards? I have no idea, um, but I'm doing it anyways. So I'm just gonna dump into here. I'm basically just trying to get up to like, well, let's do it. I want two cups of discard. Okay, there, am I at two? That's two cups of discard. Okay, so I have two cups here. This is going to become crackers. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge and I'll deal with this tomorrow. Um, I don't measure my discard when I feed it. I just feed it. Um, and I generally feed it what I want to achieve for the next day. Um, for instance, I would really like to have, this is probably half a cup, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much is in here. I'm going to, I know, right? I know, you stop it. Oh, it's hot, it's hot, oh, it's hot. So I'm going to take my starter and I'm just going to dump it into this nice new clean jar. That would have been so much cooler if you actually got to see that from like a nice, you know, nurse. How much cool stuff you're gonna see while I'm nursing. Um, okay, so how's that? So we're just gonna do that. Ooh, don't you? Yeah, help, that's nice, good job. Okay, so I'm just gonna give her a quick wipe out. Are you supposed to wipe it out when you, when you change jars? I've never changed jars before. Can I tell you the last time I did discard, I probably left, I probably left that discard in the same jar for like, I can even tell you. I don't even know how long it was in the same jar. So anyways. Oh, no, 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 no. We're just going to do that. Okay. So like I said, I've got a little cup of flour here. I like having this card. Um, I like using it in things. It tastes phenomenal in anything I've put it in so far. But so far I put it in my cookies. We made pancakes the other day with it. Honestly, I kind of feel like sometimes I like discard more than I like the um, the actual starter. Now, I'm gonna head on over to my tap because yes, I use tap water. Okay, and I just eyeball it. Eyeball it, mix it, and then if I find it needs it, I will add a little bit more. You gonna get that or are you protesting that you wanna be fed? What's up? 
I would like to get this nice and happy so that tomorrow I can have a whole bunch. Um, now, I mean, I could have just not discarded anything too and just set it. Um, I could even split the discard and feed and have two. At one point, um, I would have two different jars going and alternating between the two of them. It just depends what you want to do with it. Um, like I said, I said um, a whole bunch in that sentence. I'm so sorry. So yeah, like a thicker tank is better. You can see that it's just it's really thick. So I like it to be nice and thick. Sometimes I'll make it a little thinner, but. That's good. That means there's lots of food in there for it to eat, uh, for it to grow. My face is actually from the flower now. Woo! Anyways, this means it's got lots of food. It's going to grow nice and tall. Hopefully, it should hopefully reach the top. This is going to become crackers. And this is going to get washed. Something tells me, like, there's, like, dried bits and stuff. I have a feeling I could scrape this and rehydrate this and use it, and I might even try that just as, like, a test to see what happens. I just might do that. I'm gonna do that. Oh. Is your face itchy? Put her in my cupboard and we will check on her tomorrow. It's 11. Ooh, I'm seeing now that I'm lifting my camera up here. <laughs> I'm just short enough that I can't see that by looking. But anyways, I just wanted to show all of these lovely bubbles. It's pretty. All of the beautiful bubbles means that it's rising, it's doing its job. So by morning, it should be all the way to the top here. And then in this jar, I just wanted to share, I scraped down everything that was there all around the bottom. I added a bit of water and a bit of flour. Will it come of anything? I have no idea. Did I make a new starter? Possibly. Not sure. I'm gonna do a quick kitchen tidy up and then I'm going to bed. I started watching a new show. show you um, my apple cider vinegar for teaching so, I have a small one in the cupboard here. I'll share all of tomorrow when we check on the just button. Don't let me forget. We're going to make some um, discard crackers. Okay, I got some cords here. Sorry. So I've got two cups of butter and then, no, sorry, two Four tablespoons of butter, a quarter cup of butter, and then I've got two cups of discard. Okay. And then we're gonna load it full of salt. Nice salty cracker. Um, you could put whatever you want in here. I think I used too much um, starter. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to share my discard sourdough cracker discard fail. So, okay, I made a double. <laughs> should have just made a single recipe because I was learning. Anyways, I made a double batch and um, I made a double batch of sourdough, sourdough discard crackers and I didn't, um, when I put them on the tray, I didn't count 
for that, so I didn't give it, um, it wasn't a thin enough layer, so it's really crunchy. They're really hard. Um, I tried to take them out early and they were too soft, and I experimented at different stages, and it's my fault to mess up. It's not a big deal. I'm going to try again. I have quite a bit of discard up there. Well, not discard, but I have quite a bit of discard up there. So, I'm going to try again, and I will share at some point how they turn out. Um, for now, I'm going to get back to um, pulling up our chickens for dinner. Um, I bought three chickens. They were like 7 bucks a piece, seven fifty, which is an amazing deal. And I was just um, cutting them up, getting the legs and thighs separated and the breasts separated. Um, that's like, depending on what I'm cooking and what we're having, um, it's at least two, it's at least three, three to four meals. We'll see. I have a very crappy girl today, but we still have got a wait a bit done, so. Hi. Okay, so we're gonna get back to what we were doing and um, 